In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a line chart that can highlight legends as you make selection in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can see how you can build something like this without writing a single line of DAX code. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So highlighting values in a chart is something that we've already done before with regards to uh, using bar charts. And with that solution, we heavily relied on creating DAX code to define what's highlighted based on the selection that we've made. If we want to achieve the same effect in a line chart, however, we need to be a little bit more creative because conditional formatting is not yet available to line colors as they are to bar colors. So let me show you. So here's the reports that we're going to use for the demo for today. We're using the usual Northwind datasets, which is a dataset for a fictional company, Northwind, that sells goods internationally. We just have a few tables here that we've set up. So we have the order details table, which has a list of all the orders that have been placed, the products, and the total sales for each of those orders. We have the orders table, which is when the orders were made, the product names, which is tied to the product ID in the order details table, and then a categories table, which categorizes all those products into a meaningful legend. I've also created a calendar table, which is something that you need to have for time intelligence uh, calculations. And I've just simply created a, a small one here with just two columns, the dates and the year month so that we can visualize it into a chart. If I show you and if I put year month and sales here and I show it as a line chart like this. So you can see that obviously as a line chart, you can see the total, total sales now by month for the whole duration of what we have. And if we add category name on the legend, this is essentially what we want. But there's a lot of legends here that you can see and you might want to just focus on one at a time. So for example, you just want to see beverages compared to everything else. So you want to just highlight the beverages category and everything else grayed out. Now, normally this would not be so difficult, but the problem is if you go to lines here, you will see that under colors, you have individual colors assigned to each of the legend without the ability to change it dynamically using conditional formatting. That doesn't mean that we can't do anything about that though. So let me show you this trick that I found. First, what we want to do is set up this a chart to how we want to visualize it at the end. So it means like uh, changing a couple of things like removing some axis titles here, removing secondary axis, even the legend. We want to leave and change the title. We want to leave that on because we're going to use that uh, space for later. We just want to change it into the same color as the background. So we keep the space for the title without necessarily rearranging the size of the chart itself. Next, we want to make sure that the ranges that we have in our chart is set manually. This ensures that when selections are made, the size of the chart stays the same. This is an important step because of the solution that we're going to do. So uh, for now, just follow what I do and just make sure that for your range, which is the, the y-axis range here, you just set it to a manual value. And we know that the highest value that we have is doesn't go over 40,000. So we're going to set the maximum value to 40,000. So for now, it doesn't make any difference, but you'll see why in a second. Next, we want to change the line colors individually for each of these legend values into the the non-selected color that we want it to show as. So in this case, I'm just going to choose this gray color. I'm going to do that for every single one of our values here. There we go. Now that we are happy with our chart, 
the next thing we want to do is create a copy of this chart so I've just create put a copy and paste to copy the charts uh, as it is as a different different chart here and the idea is we want to overlay this one on top of the grayed out values so that we can highlight the legend that we want while showing the rest of the other legends as gray so from here what we want to do is uh, change the line colors to the color that we want them to be highlighted as so in this case i'm going to choose orange and don't worry how it looks now because we're going to fix that in a second So from here, I want to do a bit more formatting in this top level chart that we have. So first of all, we'll change the background to transparent to make sure that we can put this on top of uh, the previous one. And I also want to change the title to show as black. And what I want to do here is to create and make this dynamic so that it's showing what we have selected in our selection pane that we're going to create. So for that, we're still going to use conditional formatting, but we're not going to write any DAX code from here. We're just going to say base the title on a field value. And for now, we're going to say whatever is the first value selected in the category name. So if you hit OK, it will just give you the first value in that selection because nothing is selected. It just gives you the first value in that table, but we'll change that uh, in, in a little bit. So what you'll notice from here is if we put this chart on top of each other, they should align quite nicely without any issues. So it would just look like they are one chart, um, but obviously we're not quite done yet. So we're going to add a slicer here for the category name. I'm gonna change this into a slicer. And you want to make sure that for this one, you want to set the selection to only single select and that makes sure that whatever is being shown on the title is what's being selected here in our selection pane. Now, it doesn't really show the gray values yet, and that's because the slicer panel is filtering both of these charts. So what we want to do is to make sure that this slicer panel is only filtering the top chart that we have here. So while it's selected, you need to select edit interactions to enable it. I've already got this enabled. And then on the gray chart, you need to select none. So that makes sure that the slicer doesn't affect this chart when you make a selection. So now we'll just line this one up again and disable this one and there you go. So you now have a means to select a category from a slicer panel like this, highlighting one value at a time in your line chart. From here, because you have two different charts, you can add some other effects on the chart that you have overlaid, like for example, maybe creating a marker or even adding data labels on these values that you have selected so that it further accentuates the line or the legend that you're looking at. And you'll see that as you make a selection, those values also change. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is for you to highlight legends in your line charts without writing a single line of DAX code. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.